Oops. Completely pressed the wrong button and ended up ending the stream. Whoops. Total accident. Hello, Rapid. How are you? I finished my horror project. Now we're on to a, a new, cooler sci-fi project. I'm very excited for it. We've been given a soundtrack to work with. I should just start uh, editing these uh, shoutouts to include your Tumblr as well. So that way, uh, you know, the tour has uh, killed itself. I We'll, we'll, we'll say you go, you live in Tumblr. It's your summer home. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, no, that's fine. Well, we're doodling. We're taking a little break for a bit. And then uh, we're just doing some warm-ups and then we'll do some... I have something to do. The next project. I'll start that in a bit. But right now, we're just... Just fucking doodling. Oh, thanks, Herb, for shouting me out. Let's uh give Herb a shout out as well. We'll give him the dual shout out.
Why'd you guys have to put your names in the caps? Come on. It seems like it'd be a good brush for, uh, I mean, the stamping effect should be good for, like, Viva Pinata characters. If you've ever seen their designs, it would make total sense. Thanks, Irv, for another, that's for another shout out. Now, sometimes I like getting a uh, contrasting color and adding it to the picture for no reason other than to for uh, my own amusement, which is all I really need, honestly. Hello again, Rapid. Hell yeah. Dancing shark and spinning gator. <laughs> Excuse me. Is this bisexual lighting? No, I don't think so. This is definitely not bisexual lighting, right? All right, I should stop looking at my liked songs and actually click, uh, click on a playlist.
Give it a minute or six. Jeez, I've added so many effects, I can't tell which is which now. That's the eraser? Nope.
Why is my pen so big? There's no reason for that. What the fuck is this music? No thanks. Oh shit, I haven't shown you my, uh, my finished animation. I know uh, the ones following me on, like, my socials will probably have seen it, but I mean, you, Twitch, have not seen it. Maybe. I mean, you two already follow me, I know this. But I will put it in just to show it off, because I think it's cool. Let's, let's pause the music. Let's grab it out. Whoops, it's not in that file anymore. It's in this one. Uh, version 5, here we go. Actually, wait, I'll, I'll search it up on YouTube. Uh, my videos. My magnum opus. Beautiful work. I gotta say, I gotta pat myself on the back for that one. Because if I don't, who will? Everyone else. Ah, good stuff. And now back to drawing. Keep forgetting. So strange not draw, uh, drawing without a deadline. Crazy.
uh, gator. Like, the gator beast has arisen. Hello, Tyrone 4. The first three models in your line weren't up to standards. Let's hope you fare much better. Whoops, that's uh, still uppercase. Whoops, that's not it either. I'm trying to shout you out. Exactly, the first three weren't up to code. That was before OSHA came and shut the place down. But then they revamped into this whole new, uh, you know, keto branding. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but, uh, hi. How are you? I am taking a break from uh, doing anything big for now. Oh yeah, you're doing good? That's good to hear. I, I was just saying that I, I'm... I finished my big thing, and now I can at least relax a little, or I start uh, panicking again. But that won't be for a couple more weeks. We have a new project. It's a sci-fi themed one. He gave us a little soundtrack to work to. It seems like fun. But yeah, I can, I can hang out a little bit, a little bit now. Yeah, it does sound cool. I'm very interested, especially with the sound bite I got. Here, I'll I'll play it. Cuz I can play it. Hopefully it's not something copyrightable, but I don't think that'll work. I don't think that's a thing. A project for school. Mm. Yeah, as soon as I heard that one, I was like, I gotta, I gotta use that one. I gotta sign up, sign my name for that, because it was there was a list of like uh, soundtracks we could use that were all based around like eighty sci fi retro shit. I was l listening through them, and we uh, it was one soundtrack per person. So I, I I heard that one. I was like, I gotta, I gotta fucking put my name right that right then and there. Wrote it so fast, I think it let sparks. Yeah, I know. Exactly. It's like a, a little box trap, you know, with the the stick in the box and the the rope underneath it is like that uh, a Godzilla movie. That's how you trap me. The old, uh, box stick rope Godzilla trick. It gets me every time. A little sign that says Kaiju inside, yeah. Yeah, I'm real easy for poachers to get. The Fawn on Fish Wildlife, uh, Association has just said I'm not critically endangered anymore just because they don't like dealing with it. It's so easy. One second I'm looking at a, the, the back of a Godzilla film. Next second it's dark. And then the next second after that I'm in Jasper. Yeah. It's a it's a list of steps basically. It never fails. It's like the law of gravity. If you put uh the original Godzilla underneath a box, 
I will appear in that box. Delicious, nutritious, hot chocolate. Anyways, I'm just doing a little bit of warm ups before I may start some schoolwork. The schoolwork being just like some rough animatics, shit like that. Nothing big. Just like, here's sort of how I have an idea. The story will go. And that'll be it. Or uh, this week, at least. Right now, don't feel like doing it right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. What are you up to today, sir? You big chillin'? Oh, that, uh, instantly answered. You playing anything, son? You winning any, uh, any of them, uh, raids in the FNAF 14? In Prague and beat the first phase of the last fight. Ah, that's sick, man. I have no idea what any of that means, but uh, if you're having an exciting week, I am having an exciting week. What? What's the? What's the kind of monsters you've been fighting? Are they cool? Are they sexy? Cool and sexy, maybe a little scary. Cool, sexy, scary. Are they a beast or beast man? Are they of the hominid shape or the uh, creature shape? Big animal dude, I'm gonna search him up because you've given me a name. You've given me the power to do so. Hey, Baos. Nope, that's Hephaestus. That's a completely different character. If I. Uh, Ah, Hephaestus. I think it's named after a star. Oh, he's a dude. Oh, it's a it's the modern English day spelling of a uh, of Hephaestus, the Greek god of uh, blacksmithing or whatever. He likes to use animals and human DNA mixing in himself to try and make himself a god. Did he get that from evil villain Reddit? He stole it from another supervillain r slash uh evil scientist r slash mad science okay all right 
I see his big scary form, and I'm like, that's pretty fucking cool, bro. Perfect imperfection. Oh, that's cool. Final Fantasy is a is a series that goes so fucking hard. I l I love every moment of it, honestly. But I've I've never played a game of it. I have the the one for PS4, not the remake, but the older one. But it's sort of been gathering dust in the in a corner. He does sound pretty cool, my guy. Hope you win. I, I'll eventually get to playing the the older uh, PS4 one eventually because it looks like fun, or at least now it does. I I know it was a little iffy at the beginning. Yes, the one with <laughs> the one with the traveling boy band. Yeah, it was a special guest star is One Direction. Oh, that's a lame joke. I'm sorry you had to be subjected to that. Yeah, I haven't touched that one yet. It's it's on on my list after Death Stranding, God of War Ragnarok, Forbidden <laughs> Forbidden uh Horizon for Forbidden West and uh Miles Morales. So after I'm done with those five games, I'll be right on that. Also infamous Second Son. I have quite the list of games to get through. But hey, it'll keep me busy. What do you enjoy most about uh, Final Fantasy, good sir? Oh, yeah, that's right. Isn't part two of the remake coming out? Soon too, right? Or did it already come out? I know an interlude, I think, came out. Yeah, that's either coming out this year or sometime soon, right? I've heard the stories have been pretty interesting. I know the new remake, uh, Final Fantasy. I don't remember. Was it FF7? Yeah. That one deviates quite a bit from the original. And I found that very interesting that a, a remake would actively, like, go against the... Purposely, like, actually sort of deal with such a thing. I, I kind of want to get that game. It'll be my, uh, it'll be after FF14. No, not 14. What was, you said FF15? Yeah, FF15. That I'll get to it in about seven years. Yeah, you you're right. It is a remake. I kind of find it interesting though that they had the the absolute balls to do such a thing. I've never really seen that in another form of another remake in a way. Yeah, no, I understand that too, especially with the fact they've split it into two. That's a little 
I don't know. I have mixed feelings on the on them doing that. But I I have not played the game, so I don't know like whether it's really worth it's really like a, so much content in that first half that it really required its own release. Ex <laughs> yeah, finally, we get to bring that back. When when are they going to release games that are like 15 different discs again? For each portion of the game, you have to... It tells you once it gets to a point, insert disc 15, and you're like, fuck, which one's that? That's the one with the... Uh, with Tifa on it. They should just start re-releasing flat, uh, floppy discs. Give you the true experience just for this game though just for the part two Hmm. Oh, why won't it? Come on. Invert it for me, baby, please. Thank you. Bye. Now delete all that. Thank you. That was weird. I'm sorry. I had to be subjected to that too. This is the stranger I remain? Oh shit.
I'm going to drink a little. Oh shit, thank you, Zabble Rock. Zions. Fuck yeah.
I'll be honest, I actually like that song beforehand. The Day Man. The Day Man. Oh. Day Man. Fighting against the night, man. Oh. I think that was a. Uh, they were using sound bits from uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I don't know. The voices sounded familiar. There was a certain rattiness to the voices that made me think of Always Sunny. Damon. By the way, this album rock is pretty cool. They make some cool shit on the the Twitters, the Tumblers, and the Instas. Whoa. Why is that big world holding a gun? Why is he... Oh. Never mind. Ign ignore what I said. You don't need to worry about it. Yeah. He does some very cool vector. I think it's vector art. This is all... The lines are very smooth. The lines are very good. And the shapes are delicious. Delightful. Oh. And the work in vectors mostly. Oh, thanks for coming around. Thanks for checking me out. I really, I really love your work. You, you do some fucking amazing stuff, dude. Let's take a, let's, let's, uh, let me show it. I, I like the art. The art's very cool. I already shared a link, but let's, let's give them a taste. My, uh, Two audience members of my friend and you. I think it's two. No, that's the pause screen. Not f it's four. There we go. Ooh, look at this. Wow. Look at these characters. Look at this guy. This guy's fucking rad. Ooh. Cat. Portal. The Tumblr. Oh, that's Instagram. And Tumblr. Mmm. Look at this. Look at this guy. Yeah, these are cool as hell. This Chocovania. It's a ghost with fucking big ass arms. Good for grabbing the pack, man. Anyways, we're back here. 
you like uh like what you're seeing check them out i command it the links are above music has stopped because it's 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 fucking up uh where am i here it is Do you stream Zamble? That's a fucking music. Hold on, I'm just gonna give you a, a VIP thing. I think I have 10, I, I still have enough. Uh, Zabble. Uh, rock? Is it capital? I think it's capital. I'm not looking back. There it is. You don't? Uh, no, that's fair. I was, uh, I'm basically the same way still now. It's, it's, it's frightening knowing there are people watching me draw. What if I don't draw well enough and they speak up? Oh no. Yeah, no, I understand that completely. I'm a big old well of, uh, bundled nerves of anxiety. So uh, yeah, no worries. I kind of do the same, but I've started tearing my way out of the shell a little bit. Anyways, thanks, you, thanks you all for being here. I'll be right back. I gotta go let some animals outside. B. R. D.
Anyways, I've uh, returned. I don't know if Zabble's still here. Zabble, what program do you use to draw? Let's continue our little uh, interview session. I know you can get some good lines of Procreate, because uh, if you hold down, after drawing like a stroke, you can hold down a line and it becomes like a whatever, a straightened line or a polylined or a circle. I think of what's a good thing to put in the box. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it took a little bit of like self coaching to actually get to a point where I can comf comfortably talk. But even then, even now, it's still a little anxiety inducing just thinking about like, I'm going to stream later today. And then I push further, but I, 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 the trick is to actually stream. Thank you. I, I always enjoy seeing your works. I'm glad you enjoy seeing mine. I think I'll make this blue, maybe. Yeah, let's make it a, maybe a purple. G, G. That might be a little too dark. Oh, I see. That's what went wrong. Hey, fuck. Ah, shit. Come on. Thank you. Now, a red, a good light red. It takes a lot of coaching to to do a stream. I understand why uh, a lot of people can't do it. I certainly thought so before I actually started doing it too. So Let's outline this in white. Edit uh, outline selection. We'll do, uh, yeah. There we go. Then we'll add a mask. Uh, we'll select out. What the fuck? Oh, that's this. Oops. 
completely forgot about it for like a second. Let's see. E for erase. Come on. Hmm, maybe this can work. Oh god, no, no. This select all that shit. Come on. Huh. Doing fine work. Whoops, no, no. Ooh. What's this? Oh.
Yeah, sure, that'll be fine. Black ass background is doing your favors. <laughs> this is goofy enough. Sure, I can deal with it. Actually, I cannot. These aren't good. Oops, nope.
Uh, what is it? Where is the select? There it is. I really love the texture of impasto. I don't know what it is in real life. I think it's a kind of paint. This is a really nice texture to put on your things. It was the texture I used to the Cleric Beast. I'm honestly really proud of that one, too, for being a sketch. Despite it being a sketch, I mean. Thank you. It is one of my favorite enemy designs from a uh, video game. Bloodborne is one of my favorite video games of all time. And the Cleric Beast is a, I think, is a really good first boss in concept and uh, in gameplay and just in general design as well. Because, uh... As a general big old monster, it's really fucking cool. I love the big arm and the smaller arm. That's always a really good design trope. And the the horns, it looks it looks sick. And then there's the fact that it's uh it, its backstory is that uh there leads into the common theme in Bloodborne where it's like uh clerics or those of the holy church or whatever, the healing church, and the become bigger beasts, and it fits into the whole theme of, like, the more you suppress the beast in the game, a the theme in game is uh, suppressing the beast gives greater recoil when the transformation inevitably happens, that's why they're so big, and that's just such a fucking cool idea, I love it. I don't really need to I don't really need to swear, but it's just such a an inspiring idea. I really love it.
Exactly. Those who knew they would become beasts would try and fight it, which would only feed into the, like, how big the beast will be. But those, like, random townsfolk or dogs who don't understand and uh, would have succumbed easily just became, like, the, the regular sized enemies and whatnot. It's such a cool idea that translates really well, I think, into the fights. Again, the cleric beast is a really sick uh, concept. And execution. I'm uh, reloading an earlier save of my Bloodborne vial because I accidentally shot Eileen in the graveyard. And I want to finish her quest line because I've never done it. We were fighting Henrique, and uh, we were doing pretty well. And then I shot her a couple times in the back. I didn't realize when she uh, fucking when she dies in that fight, she dies for real. But I should have expected that. It's a FromSoft game. Eileen is yeah, the, the hunter of hunters tonight. The hunters, hunters must hunt, hunter. I love her. She's great. Uh, that's why she must survive. And I must not shoot her in the back. I have poison knives I'll just use and throw at Henrique. But he did kill her. I just shot her a couple times. I just enable it. But it was it really my fault? If she was between us? In an active battlefield. No, oh, I can't be the only one at fault there. I fucking love all the designs of uh, Bloodborne. I have the the art book, and that's just another delicious treat alongside it. I love the the, the clothing. Just an. Just everyday wear in London. Everyday apparel in a modern day London. When the Queen died, there was murmurings of a plague of beasts. So I am preparing, no. Oh, it's it's so good. Got exactly gothic shit, eldritch, uh, horrors. The whole fucking lycanthropy is a is a fucking disease aesthetic. That is cool. I love I love that. Things are mutating. It, it's a horrible place. Just that's just Durham. I think an understated part that I really like is this one part early game after fighting Garman. Not Garman. Oh, that's way late game. I mean, uh, Gascoigne. Gascoigne. Your father? Daddy? Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Sorry. Father Gascoigne. When you gain access to, like, the, the three cathedral parts. And, uh, the enemies are, like, Church aesthetic, more villagers, whatnot, big old church giants, the usual uh, cavalcade. And then you get to this one point, and it's like a, a, a brain sucker, an absolute monster that has no part in like the overall theme of this area. It's just this random mind flayer thing that eats your brain and steals your insight. And it's like, oh. There's more going on. I mean, that's also in the same zone as, like, the invisible 
uh, spoilers, amygdala that will grab you and instantly gut you. Yeah, he's just hanging out with a crow. It's just a random crow hanging out with it. And I like how later portions of the game, I have I've played far enough to know this, but I've restarted recently. But far enough in the game, I think beginning of the Blood Moon, maybe a little back before then, there's a, a, a kidnapper that appears right beside it, beside the cathedral, uh, the safe zone. And it's like, oh, well, that's a new, new guy. He's terrifying. But I do like, uh, you get some inklings that, wow, maybe there might be some eldritch horrors along with this bloodborne horror, yeah. Yeah, the big ol' uh, weird Spider-Men that are just hanging out. They're invi invisible until you get enough insight. I am starving myself of insight right now because I know one of the bosses later, the witches, kind of get gimped by the by that because they're they become more dangerous the more insight you have. So I'm staving off using my insight all that much until I get to them. But I have to restart anyways just to make sure uh, Eileen doesn't die. Because again, I want to see her quest through to the end. She is my favorite character. Right after Gilbert. Poor, poor Gilbert. Listen, I know it's hard to be a a, a decent person in a, a FromSoft game, but I'm not. I'm gonna try. Well, for one thing, I'm just gonna steal that uh the brooch. And use it for a blood gem. And never talk to that little girl again. It'll be less painful in the long run, I think. I mean, not really. Both her parents are dead. But it'll make me feel better not thinking about it. Yeah. The good ending. There's uh, a couple thousand quotations, though. You're missing uh, uh, you're, uh, quite a few quotations are needed. I don't really think any of these endings will be a good one. I'm trying to think. As far as I've gotten right now, I've beaten Gascoigne. And I'm just sort of mulling around the, the church area. I'm going to go into Old Yarnum after saving Eileen, duh, where I said this. And then I won't kill Durja, the guy with the turret, because uh, I want to talk to him. I want to be a decent human being to show the, the hunt hasn't made me into some sort of beast. I'm only slightly role-playing. But it's such a fucking good game. I've learned how to parry very well. That's how I managed to beat Father Gascoin. He, I mean, he was still tough. I it took me three tries to get him to kill him, but uh, once you get down his patterns and learn to parry him at the right moments, it becomes a lot easier. Until he turns into a second form, in which case I just I slapped him with a hammer a couple times, and that worked. Oh man. Well, once it gets once it comes to PC, you should definitely get it. Prize. Prize.
Asterisk cries. Asterisk. I, I would say... I don't know. Y you should fucking play it. It's such an amazing game. Genuinely one of the best I've ever played. But I don't... If you don't have a PS4... Then I don't... I would not suggest emulating it. I would really suggest playing it as it is. But if you don't want to get a PS4... Then, uh, that's hard shit, man. I mean, PS4 should be, I, I say, in case you ever want to buy one, should be cheaper now, but PS5s are like a myth still, so I don't know. Everyone's still holding on to their, their PS4s. Because the games that uh, the newer games that get released for it now can be upgraded to a PS5 version, so everyone's like, if I just get them now as a PS4 version, I'll get a PS5 later. And that so they're still holding on to theirs, so it's still still as if it's a current model of console, right? I guess. But fuck, man, I would not suggest emulating it in any way if you can i would just say you gotta play it straight up man you gotta take it straight ah uh, well i mean bloodborne the twins the twin bloodborns you know you gotta, you gotta pitch it to them. I get your PS4. You get half of Bloodborne. You just gotta entice them with blood porn. I mean, anyone can really be enticed by blood porn, to be honest.
All dogs go to heaven. What is this? Oh wow, we're almost to the end of this uh this playlist. <laughs> I love the new uh Martin Scorsese movie, Goncello. It was such a real eye opener. You haven't seen Goncharov? You plebeian. It's only the the movie of the year is completely kicked uh, Morbius off its spot. I can't believe you've never seen Goncharov. Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Are you serious right now? It is only the greatest film in cinema history, really. I don't understand how you could could have not have seen this, seen this film. It's up in the it's in the upper echelons, like Morbius. Master of Disguise? Um... The Garbage Pail Kids? I mean, you gotta recognize the poster, right? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a meme pro proliferating throughout a Tumblr. It's it, it's one of those weeks of a, a new meme has arisen. Gaunch posting. That sounds lewd. They must really love the characters, uh, Goncharov and. Savinsky. That's quite the pairing uh, the fandom has. But yet they only shared like two seconds of screen time. Ugh, I hate fandom culture. People will be like, hey, have you seen Goncharov? And yet haven't seen it themselves. All right, I feel like this is cool enough. This little little picture I have. This little doodle, this little sketch I got. I feel like it was well worth it, despite it being nearly finished when I actually started. Little worm guys, yeah. Worm, worm, worm. Or, or they might be a three-headed dragon. Mmm, just some food for thought. I don't know, I've been really into making little fake, uh, sort of 
I wouldn't call them album covers. But something along those lines. Like with the, the crunch thing I have. I thought that was interesting. I've just been playing a little more recently. Been loosening up, I could say. I've actually been finishing stuff. Finishing drawings. I'm not saving them. But I've been finishing them. I actually like this one. This is kind of cute. Yeah, it's a step. A step in the right direction, I would say. I've been taking some stuff to really help me calm down with my anxiety, and I feel like it's been helping a lot. The most embarrassing thing was with that, the drawing. Again, I've been finishing sketches, but I wouldn't save them because I'm still not that confident. But I would be like, I'd make this on like a, a power trip, I guess. I don't know what this is aesthetic is. Monster? Kaiju core. I I've also been playing a little more with uh not being so anal about my lines, my sketches and whatnot. Simply because, you know, that was a big problem I have. And so I'm just drawing however I really sort of want in a way. It's been kind of freeing recently. I like it. Again, it's another step in the right direction. Oh, I see what I did. I put a border above the impasto. I see. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm happy, you're happy, that I'm happy. It's a feedback loop of positivity. Thanks for being here in general, man. I always love seeing you around. I can't wait to, to play fucking Deep Rock Galactic with you. Bought that game for the sole purpose of, of dealing with my boys. Of, of burying them in the dirt. And also being buried. It's a game that appealed to the most basic sense of, uh, my manhood. Digging holes. I should probably give these dragons a little bit more of a different color, I think. Give it a darker. Oh yes, it will be. It'll be very chaotic, I hope. Probably, it most likely will. It'll go the same vein as our uh, Left 4 Dead games. Where we panic and... And, uh... We plan out something and then it fails, and then we plan out something else, and then that also fails, and then we, uh, we fuck around and find out.
Oh, th thank you for hanging around, Zabel. I hope you have a good night. Ooh, rock and stone. I'm going to purposely make this two hours and then end it right at the, the two hour mark. Just to be a little silly. A little goofy. I was thinking about doing like schoolwork after this, but I, I don't want to anymore. I'm all arted out. And also, I took some stuff to go to sleep. Getting a little quirky, a little goaded with the sauce. Just becoming a little bit of a white boy who's been goaded with the sauce on the side. Ah. Uh. Let's look of, uh, at uh, Gon Chera posters together. Hmm. This is the main character, Ivan Gon Chera. He has such a good arc in uh, the movie. You won't believe the, like, the twists and turns. Chekhov's gun who? More like Gon Chera's gun. You'll understand if you see the movie. Ha ha ha. Oh, oh, oh. Where to stream it? Oh, you. No, thank you. Give me the real deal. This is when the movie was released for free. And, and then it was, uh, it was removed from theaters as tribute. I don't know how that works, but it, it happened. Oh my god, even the Red Blitter Media Boys have covered it. Insane, I wonder what they had to say about it. Knowing them, they probably hated it. Ivan Goncharov is like the on his Donkey Kong of the Goncharov clan. Exactly. That's that's the whole story arc. He's learning to rely on others and not just himself. As a man who's who's relied on himself all his years.
Just one more minute and you'll all be free from this torment. I'm, um, I don't know, I think I'm pretty happy with what I've done here. I feel like it's not a bad, bad job. Yeah, it's a good job. It's enough of the pessimistic self-hatred. Oh, it's been two hours, basically. All right. Whoops, shit. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. Always love having you. Uh, I'm gonna get ready for bed. Have fun. Uh, progging. And I'll, I'll see you for Deep Rock Galactic, or maybe tomorrow if you, if I'm streaming. Now I'll just see you then. Thank you, sir. Thanks for being here. Always make things more lively with you around, buddy. Enjoy the rest of your night. Night.